Hello, filmmakers out there. This channel is all about visual content creation. We would like to show you some of the best apps, of course, and tools to create awesome media and video content. Today, unfortunately, we forgot to invite a guest. Um, yeah, oh. so, uh, and this is <laughs> totally, why we yeah. prepared something. <laughs> well, nice to have somebody here, actually. I don't, yeah. Well, we have both of us. And uh, I mean, I mean we, yeah. we can start, can't we? I mean, could be. And we got you, nice. we got you, of course. Well, today we wanted to talk uh, uh, with you about augmented reality. So ah, that yeah. might come a little um, surprising because this is not probably the first thing you think about when you think about creating video content, but there are some amazing apps and you can use them within your videos. And we want to show you how to do that. And uh, before, Matthias, should we explain shortly what augmented reality is or means? Or um, I might be able to show some augmented reality on my smartphone if you want okay. to see that. Well, this yeah. is an amazing app. It's called uh, Instagram. You might know that. I've heard and, about that. Uh, you have past, these nice, yeah. very nice uh, filters with the uh, augmented reality. And uh, here uh, I got some ears and a nose. So I look like rather some tiny dog and and uh yeah it's, so this it's, it's, is how it's I look perfectly with, to uh, your haircut actually it's really yeah, yeah this is how i look with hair this is uh, <laughs> quite amazing <laughs> okay <laughs> so uh most of you will know augmented reality somehow some ways and we found some very interesting other apps and uh well useful um possibilities to show like what you can do with augmented reality um, and we wanted to show you two resources. Um, this um, is the platform that you find right here in the description below. It's sketchfab.com. And it's basically a database for 3D models. So you can check out all kinds of 3D uh, models that are, some of them are free. Some of them you have to pay for them a couple of dollars. But there are a lot of things that you can download for free. And they have a Creative Commons license, for example. You can use it in your projects. And we would like to give you just a glance on how to do that. So I did a little piece for my Instagram account. Um, that okay. You can, you can find That's it cool. on my Instagram account. You can find us on Instagram under these um, Instagram handles. Oh, is this part of a car? Yeah, it's in my living room. Okay. Right? because I'm looking for um, a place where I can put it in winter because it kind of get rust, gets rusty maybe. Sure, yeah, especially um, with a harsh German winter. Exactly. With a lot of rain. you rather put it in your <laughs> living room? Oh, wow. Oh, so wow. German, okay. I try to do a translation here simultaneously. I'm babbling about the situation that I'm in that is quite troublesome. I need a location for this old timer to put it somewhere yeah. into, a, into a farmhouse or whatever to get it protected from the rain. Right now it's oh, another okay. Yeah. And there we are. Yeah. In the middle of your living room. So yeah. um fits in quite pretty well. And you see I walk yeah. around that thing. So I did a second shot basically from me. So I got this okay, wow. out of me looking at something and then editing into the other perspective where I show the car. And here is basically one shot that shows us how I positioned that model, that it's not really there. It's just um, an image. Oh, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's not a real car, I know, I assume. So how did you how did you approach and how did you import this car into your living room? Screen I, I recording brought, or I bribed a seller in Eastern Europe to to import this car to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's uh, basically it's a, it's a Sketchfab model. So it's a it's also a free available model from Sketchfab. Um, I downloaded that model, uh, put it into my files uh, on the iPhone. And when you open up that file on your phone that is locally stored you have an ar viewer already on your phone and um and then it's not it, in that case you got it on your phone you don't um get the data from the cloud so it doesn't matter if you have a weaker connection so you're completely it's, it's also working offline but what's really important on ar is basically that the phone is able to to recognize a surface that you 
scan your room and that you really find um, a well, um, a bright room, that you have a bright light situation and it has to be well lit. And then um, the phone is recognizing that floor and then it's positioning that model on the floor. And the better it's finding out where the floor is and the perspectives, the better it looks in the very end. And that's all, that's, that's, that's the whole secret. And from time to time, um, well, like the shadows and lights can be a little tricky, you know, like when you yeah. have a, a car like a, um, that was modeled with bright sunshine and then you put it into your living room and, well, it's kind of dark and so on. So, of course, you have to watch out for these things to make the illusion perfect, right? Absolutely. And, and really one big thing is when, you, when you're traveling around, you're sitting in a train or something or with friends and moving in a car or whatever, and you want to try that while you're moving from one position to another, forget about it. Um, because then the location data in your smartphone is totally freaking out and not recognizing where is what right here and everything's constantly changing and that's not a good um, option to do augmented reality. Um, Nor but, is a basement or a tunnel. <laughs> yeah. I did a, a project with <laughs> yeah. students last year, and some of them tried to do an augmented reality uh, within a tunnel. And the reception was really, really bad. Yeah. And uh, well, of course, uh, you have to try it uh, where you have, well, very good reception then. Uh, yeah. So what we are in here is basically um, the Arrow app which takes a little time here um, to follow my movements. Um, the Arrow app is an app created by Adobe. And Adobe has within this app the possibility to import uh, 3D models and put it into augmented reality, like this little robot here that you'll find within the starter assets of the app. And whenever you touch that thing, um, it'll get a kind of um, a box um, around it, and then you can edit that little boy here and add an animation. As you can see down below, you see behaviors. This is just one example. Um, there are hundreds of models, and there are all kinds of models on platforms like Sketchfab that you can import into your room, like me here, like I'm doing right now. And the great thing about this one is that um, you can actually edit the behavior and this thing is moving then. Um, All right, the what can it do? Now it's coming actually. So you see this little robot. Oh is wow, dancing. it's warming up. This, or is, this is warming up, isn't it? Or is this of, yeah, 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 but it doesn't get better. Um, <laughs> but you can, of course, you use it for some kind of uh, athletics <laughs> or so, right? <laughs> well, you can use this app really to um, enhance your videos and, and do astonishing content. You can, you can, of course, screen record that thing and then include it on every... Um, piece you do for whatever platform, like for example, for your Instagram story, you can integrate augmented reality things that are not just face filters, but other things into your Instagram story, for example, or on classic videos, on into your YouTube videos, and create special effects that would have been enormously um, heavy to edit and to produce in the past. And here it's really, really easy um, to use augmented reality for that. Yeah, exactly. So um, what are your experiences with augmented reality? Do you have any apps that you can recommend or other gear? We'd like to know about it. And please leave it in the comments or uh, get in touch with us uh, via Instagram or, uh, well, other channels. And we'd love to discuss about it with you and learn a lot more. And I'm sure that uh, augmented reality will, uh, within the next episodes, will be uh, an issue or a topic to talk about with uh, some other people as well. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, let's keep in touch. And there will be a lot of apps coming up, of course, not only augmented reality, but also filmmaking in general. Um, a lot of things where we would really like to know, what do you want to know about filmmaking? What's, as we mentioned in the very beginning, what are the big problems that you're facing? What are the big questions that you're dealing with? Let us know and um, yeah. Thanks for, for watching this and we hope to see you next week. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. See you, Matthias. Bye-bye.
Bye. Take care. Good night. <laughs>